available now on Blu-ray from the Arrow uh, Japanese Family Fun series, is Shogun's Joy of Torture. I was just kidding. There's no Japanese Family Fun series. This is so not a family movie. Shogun's Joy of Torture. This is a Japanese uh, erotic, gruesome erotic movie from, I believe, the late 60s. And uh, wow, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's an anthology film that starts up uh, to sort of purport that this is examples of the, of the barbaric nature of, of um, judicial punishment from the past, and we must remain vigilant to never allow this sort of thing to happen again. But it's really an excuse to show a lot of naked Japanese women getting, you know, tortured over the course of 90 minutes. Um, it's three stories, and each one involves, you know, a Japanese woman, these are all set in the past, uh, well, not necessarily a woman. The first story is is a young Japanese uh, female whose brother is very, very sick, and in order to afford medical care for him she, or to pay back for the medical care, um, it's strongly encouraged that she sort of become the kept woman of the doctor. Uh, she sort of rebuffs this. It is revealed that the brother has indecent desires for his sister. You don't see anything, but just th that notion alone is unpleasant. And... Um, Basically, the, the brother says, if you go and be with this guy, I'll kill myself. So she sort of is with the guy by force, and then the brother offs himself, and she goes crazy and attacks the, the doctor who caused this, and subsequently she is punished over a long period of time in gruesome ways. The second story is about sort of a group of nuns, a group of bald nuns in, in Japan in the olden days, and uh, the, the woman who's the abbotess or abbotress of the, the nunnery finds that one of her nuns is going off to have dalliances with a, an also bald male a monk out in the, in the woods somewhere, and uh, she basically blackmails the man into being with her, and it's this ugliness and in, in this illicit desires, and eventually um, there's a lot of gruesome punishment for uh, a nun or two. And then the third story is about a tattoo artist who wants to uh, create the greatest tattoo ever to show a rival upstart that he's the master tattoo artist. So he basically kidnaps a woman who has perfect skin so he can tattoo her. Um, and then that sort of, the tables wind up getting turned on him for being an evil, terrible person. And there's just like a room full of, of women being tortured. And I say tortured, you know, it's, it's, it's movie, it's movie stuff. It's not it's not what they would call torture porn these days where it's really explicit and gruesome. There's some very, very unpleasant stuff insinuated in the movie, but mostly it's just a lot of, it's a lot of screaming. <laughs> this is, this is one to, yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a soundtrack features a lot of screaming, a lot of screaming, a lot of nudity, and a lot of just, uh, just fetishy kind of women being tied up and suspended and, 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 brutalized and things. It's, it's really, un, it's fairly unpleasant, but, but artistically done, funny enough. That is one weird thing is that for all the gruesomeness and salaciousness in this movie, it's really well shot. And, and like the, the production values are really high. Like if you jumped into the middle of this movie, you'd say, oh, this is a nice period drama. And oh, wow, they're putting something somewhere. Uh, really sleazy. The uh, Arrow has released another film uh, similar to this. That's part of this whole uh, pinky violence, not even pinky violence. It's it's a different genre that there's a name for it, but I don't recall, unfortunately. There was this period of Japanese cult sleaze fetish cinema where it was a lot of crime and punishment and uh, never really against a lot of males as it went. So uh, if, you, if you enjoy this sort of thing, the film looks great. It's a great transfer from Arrow. It's got some nice uh, bonus features. It's got a commentary. It's got a featurette about the feature editor too about the uh, director and about this genre of film and it's really a nice package it's really well done it, it's nothing i personally would want to watch twice um with the volume all the way up but uh it's, it's interesting it's interesting that they're putting out these films that probably again may not have ever really seen a release outside of japan or at least not a stateside release in the old days so available now uh for for you know for the holidays is the shogun's joy of torture from arrow video on blu-ray